to another episode of 205 Live and NXT Recap. And of course, Justin's joining us for today, this week. Because Missy's out on holiday. Yep. And it's Happy Halloween. <coughs> so, um, of course, it's Halloween, 205 Live and NXT Week. I'm surprised that they didn't have, they didn't do any Halloween kind of things. Yeah. Then again, their shows are very short, only an hour long. Yeah, but the first match of 205 Live was Jack Gallagher with Drew Gulak versus Brian Kendrick. Um, the match was going back forward, going back forward. It was good, it was good. And then close to the end of the match, Drew Ma uh, no, um, Brian, uh, Brian Kendrick's ones. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. At the end of the match, Drew um, Gulak was trying to sneak attack uh, Kendrick, but then out in the audience came Akira Tozawa, and he kicked Gulak, making a distraction for Jack Gallagher to see. And then Brian Kendrick looked and did a move, and pinned for the win. And of course, um, the two were in the ring staring at each, at each other, Akira and Kendrick. So possibly next week there might be a tag team match? Yeah, there might be a tag team match next week with Gallagher, Drew, and Brian, and Kira. So It's that. funny not seeing the 205 crew on Raw. Yup. Um, and then the next match was... Grand Metalik versus some jobber. First a jobber, of course. Um, Obviously... Just see some flips and some wrestling moves, lucha moves, and then Grand Metal League won. But then, out of nowhere, TJP shows up and then steals, attacks Grand Metal League, and then he ends up stealing his mask. No. He, he he unmasked a luchador. You don't do that. He already did that to one of them already. Do, yeah, so Grand Metal League challenged uh, TJP to the match that was supposed to be for tonight, but... That's the reason why we had the jobber. Yep. And then and, the main event. And then the main event of 205 Live was Mustafa Ali versus Miss Cal Hizab's Tony Nese. Um, that is kind of dumb. Of course. Um, that match was good. Doing good. Doing well. Of course, Mustafa Ali won. And then, of course, Sour plus Tony Nese attacked him. To the match, and then Cedric Alexander came to the rescue, and but Nice got out of the ring and um ran away. Yep, and Cedric and Mustafa Ali holding holding hands up and uh, hugged and there you go. So that pretty much was. Um, oh, you you missed something else. Oh, yeah. because That's um. Right. Buddy, uh, Buddy Murphy That's comes right. up I forgot about holding Buddy Murphy. the. Um, he came out with the title, looking at um, Tony Nese, and then he's looking back and holds the title up like, yes. By saying, he's a champ. Enjoy your little match. I'm still the champ. So, I mean. Ha ha ha. ha. You, you mean, I would like to see Mustafa Ali. As champion? Yeah, he's pretty cool. I like him. Mm -hmm. well, we'll find out. But what I don't know, Buddy Murphy. I mean, he just got the title, so who knows? So you never know. And now we got NXT. 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 It starts with Nikki Crazy Cross versus Mercedes Martinez. Okay, I don't remember seeing Mercedes. Is it just me, or is Nikki Cross supposed to be like more unhinged, unstable Dean Ambrose? Yeah, I said that. I said that people say she that she's supposed to be the girl version of Dean Ambrose. I would like to see her on Raw, uh, Raw teaming up with Ambrose. Well, Nikki Cross went um, you know, Insanity, right? When they were in, in NXT, Nikki Cross was partner with them. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Okay, this match was good. It was doing well. It was doing well. Mercedes got some punches in there. Nikki got some punches in there. It got but, bloody. Okay. Yeah. Nikki yeah. had blood all over. And the ref had to use the gloves. And then, of course, Nikki Cross won. And then, of course, Nikki, um... You keep saying, of course, a lot. 
<laughs> yeah. And Nikki was getting all crazy and this and that and this and that. And she stared when she was on the, laying on the mat staring at Mercedes. And they were staring and then Mercedes rolled out of the ring. And some blonde. Some blonde girl. I, forget, I don't even know. I don't, I've never seen her before. That's why I don't know her name. Came out and she's talking to Nikki and and Nikki's laughing. Gets out of the ring and the girl's like, "What? That's not funny. What's so funny? No, what's so funny?" And then Alistair Black a, 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 shows up. Alistair Black coming out and then he's staring at Nikki and then he's walking towards the ring. Goes into the ring face to face with the girl and they're talking back and forth, whispering. I think he wants Johnny Gargano. And she's like, he's not here. Or something like that. So what? She's someone close to Johnny Gargano? I guess. I haven't seen her. I don't remember seeing her before when I started watching this. Hmm. Who knows? But that was that. And then you got the next match. Street Profits versus the Mighty? Yep. Um. The Mighty what? Just the Mighty. That's their that's their name, the Mighty. That's not how team names work. You got the Mighty Boosh, you got the Mighty Thor, you got the Mighty Ducks. Just the Mighty. I mean Street Profits, yeah, that's a that's a team name. And they're all dressed in black and yellow. Yeah. And um, they won. Yep, Street Profits won. And of course they were celebrating in the audience with winning and stuff. That match was another good match. Pretty, very, pretty good. Um, um, I think the Mighty won last uh, last week. Or Is the that last, why they did? It? No, I think last we, month. Last month ago, I think when me and Missy seen it, I think the Mighty won. But that was that. And then, um, the uh, Regal was doing an interview. And Alicia Black came and said, where's... You mean, you mean Alistair Black? Yeah, I don't know why I keep saying Alistair. You almost said Alicia. But he came and told Regal he wants Johnny. Where's Johnny? And... Johnny's insane. <laughs> and Regal was like, you're going to get him. You're going to get him at War Games. So he made Johnny Gargano versus Alistair Black at War Games. So, we're uh, going to see that match. Um, third match. And then the third match was an in-ring debut. And, oh, my God. Matt Riddle versus Luke Menzies. Um, Matt Riddle, okay. So, he looks like he's a beach person. Like with, um, a surfer dude? Yeah, surfer dude. He comes with these um, sandals. He comes in a ring and he kicks them off. So he's wrestling in his feet. So he's wrestling. He's fighting barefoot. Yeah. Like MMA. Pretty much. Or Rusev. I mean, that was a pretty good match. Of course, we knew Matt Riddle's gonna win because it's his in-ring debut. But um, he ma he uh, made Luke Menzies tap out with the, on the move on his head. Mm. So oh, he tapped him out. Yep. Yeah. And then, let's see what we got next. Lars, then, someone named Lars Sullivan? Yeah, Lars Sullivan was backstage. He was destroying everything. And he was saying um, that title match should be his, not Velveteen Dreams. And he said he will do something about it. And, um... Destroy the buffet? Yep. Yeah. And so, um, they made for next week... Velveteen Dream versus Lars Holman. Hmm. So, I'll be interested to see. Never know if Lars Holman wins, it might be a triple threat match. And what's the, four, uh, the fourth match? Only Luke. Lorkin. Lorkin. And Danny Birch. Danny Birch. Versus H Humberto. And I don't know his partner's name. I, I couldn't hear what it said. But. I don't know. A couple other wrestlers. But, um... I wasn't paying attention. I had to go to the bathroom then. <laughs> but that was an interesting match. So we're going back and forth, going back and forth, going back and forth. And then, um, of course, the Oni and Danny won. Um, I'm not really a super fan of them. I mean, I'm just a, uh, like, one-go match. Just watching, just go. It's like, whatever, right? But that was that. And then there was, like, 
I'm like, what the hell? Where's this? Because they they kept advertising the Undisputed Era vs. War Raiders. And there was like only like five minutes left of NXT. So I was like, okay, they're going to do something. And then, of course, you see the Undisputed Era celebrating backstays and this and that, whatever, talking. And then they're like, you, better, you guys got to get ready for your match, blah, blah, blah. And then, then Cole's about to talk. And then you see the War Raiders just attack him from behind. And then all war, Blake Roof was the War Raiders and Undisputed Era fighting backstage and blah, blah, blah. They go everywhere. All over. And then, they go to the fans. They go to the back. They destroy, like, some kind of catering. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, to come into the rescue... Well, to add on with the War Raiders, was R Ricochet. He came in there. Well, he came out of nowhere and he, he just, ran, ran, jumped on a table, and then dived into everybody and punched whoever stood up. Yep. Um. And then they finally, they're still fighting. They're still fighting backstage. Then they bring it into the ring. They're, then they're bringing it into the ring and an the arena. They're attacking. They're all fighting. And then Pete Dunne comes out. Making Adam Cole come out of the ring, and he's like, oh, no, no, and then they're fighting at it, they're fighting at it. And then War Raiders, Pete Dunne, and Ricochet stands in the ring, and uh, oh, the other guy is out on the floor. And Regal comes out and says, um... We're not having this and like that. No. you. We're going to have it at war. War games? War games. It's going to be Undisputed Era versus War Raiders. Pete Dunne and Ricochet. That's how I ended NXT. And wasn't there like a special event going to happen at War Games? Something oh. about Team Up Up Down Down versus oh, Team NXT know. at a League of Legends match? I have no idea. You saw it. it yeah, I've seen there. it, but I don't. I don't know. Cause you don't know about League of Legends or anything. I don't, I don't know. know anything about League of Legends. All I know is that there's million dollar tournaments, and it's basically like. But yeah, so let us know what you thought of NXT 205 Live. Did you like it? Do you watch it? Do you, um... It's too short. Are you excited for, um, War Games? Um, so let us know. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll be back for another recap. Bye! Bye.